Hi everyone. I kind of wanted to come out here <clears throat> not in my um, cultural clothes or what I usually wear. You know, this is just me as a human being. You get to see me as a human being without any culture or any stigma attached to me. Um, I'm really um, heartbroken over what's going on in Palestine. <clears throat> and Israel, Israel controls both of our borders now through Elbit systems. They won that uh, Homeland Security defense contract. Uh, no congressperson or House of Representative people, you know, were bothered by having Israel monitor our borders. Actually, they said that it had been tried and tested on the Palestinians. That's frightening. I hear people are still divided over the border because these children aren't their children. <clears throat> My question is, how far do you think ahead? Um, do you just think until the next day? Or do you think about your children's children's children? Because we are a world family, and we all should be thinking of everyone else's children, too. And if you don't have that humility and empathy in your heart, then you're not a part of the human race. And I know that I offend some people not on purpose, so I'm coming to you just as a, the being, the human being in me. And I, I would like to say that I love your children and hope, hope that your children and grandchildren make it. I say blessings and prayers every night for humanity, for creation to continue, for us to evolve, for us to not be selfish, for us to, if we see someone hungry on the road, we feed them, not to be greedy and stingy, not to think that everything here in this continent of North America belongs to we the people, because that's a psyop to begin with. Um, not one treaty was ever honored, and this is from a non-Indian perspective. You can look that up, but I would like to leave some um, really disturbing information below about the Founding Fathers and Zionist, and maybe we were founded from the get-go in their own letters and their own words to help Israel form a state in Palestine to control the world. Now, you may not want to believe this, and then again, you might. Some people are so indoctrinated that they can't even fathom thinking outside of what they have been taught, and that's what scares me the most. They are only worried about their family, their children, and they'll shoot the first thing that comes down the road. As a human being, I'm part of a world family. I'm a citizen of the world. Creation was, was created for all of us. There is no one race chosen over another race. We are all equal. We all have something to contribute. And what if that kid you disregarded and said was not worth a damn could have changed the whole world? Does anyone ever think that way? Does everyone, does anyone even think generations in advance what could happen if we put our best foot forward instead of being divided on issues? Small issues, causes of the day, when there's monstrous issues at hand. Now, I have kind of resign myself from being a part of some of this cause of the day stuff. I have seen it all my life. I'm not saying I'm wide awake. I'm saying it was just the way where I was thrown into in this earth. I got to see things from a different perspective. I try to share that with you. And a lot of you have been thrown in that that way too and you try to share it and it's offensive to a lot of people but all I'd ask for you to do is keep sharing those experience experiences so we can maybe they say wake up nobody is really awake people are awakening 
and then some people are just still stuck on, stuck on stupid, and it's their way or the highway. I'm ready to, ne to negotiate any situation that can help future generations of children. Yes, nobody's child should be starving, cold, homeless, eating bad food. No one on this earth. We are not better than other nations. And Israel is not better than us. And we need to keep fe stop feeding that beast. Because if you read their Samson solution, if they can't control the world, they'll just ruin the world. I'll leave that in the link too. I just wanted you to see me as a human being. And maybe you understand and see something inside of you. There's no mask here. This is just me. And I do love every one of you. And I hope you have some peace and empathy in your heart. And I'm going to pray for humanity tonight. Hope you do too. And don't ever let me see. I, I, I saw some comments today. Let God sort out the children. Wow. That's a cold stone heart. I'm sorry, but that hurt. I send you love and blessings. Good night.